we all know that these days there is a lot of talk about the 3G and 4G technologies. But which technology has actually been adopted by the NGN architecture? Well, that is 4G in the form of LTE and LTEA. These technologies are known as the mobile broadband technologies. 4G is the leader in these technologies. In this module, we are going to understand 4G as an umbrella technology, and then we look at the features which 4G is promising to provide. Amongst multiple contenders, 4G actually emerged as a next generation strongest candidate because it promises technological features and key aspects which are not provided by either its predecessors or the contemporary technologies. The specifications which are provided in 4G are actually documented in International Telecommunication Union Radio Communication Report titled M.2134. It is also known as the International Mobile Telecommunication Advanced Standard. It is similar to its predecessor 3G which is known as the IMT2000. 4G essentially is an umbrella technology. It means that it is a list of features and characteristics that a certain technology provides becomes a 4G technology. So in essentially 4G is not a technology per se, it is more of a label. Let us now look at these features one by one. The first one is of course that any technology which is launched into the market has to provide the most common list of functions which is provided by the predecessor or the contemporary technologies. It means it has to stay relevant to the existing market requirements. All the applications and services which are provided by the predecessor need not only be provided by the 4G, but 4G has to provide them with a better quality of service and with increased features. The next important feature is the compatibility aspect. Compatibility means how well 4G technology can co-opt and exist with the other contemporary technologies. Now these technologies are not only in the wireless domain but also in the fixed network because in an end-to-end -end communication scenario the calling party could be in wireless and the called party could be in wired and vice versa. So it means the compatibility or interoperability is a very important concern. The next key feature is that all the radio technologies which are currently deployed, the interoperability or the integration with 4G has to be made possible. It means whatever mobile technology is being used, the radio side of it has to be compatible with any 4G technology. Essentially, it is also quite similar to the compatibility requirement. The next one is that whenever there are users with services requiring in the 4G network, these have to be comparable to the circuit switched network. It means it is known as circuit switched emulated service provisioning. It, how is it realized? Well, the technology can vary, but the quality of service specifications defined in the service level agreement must be complied to. For as, for as long as these specifications are complied to, the technology can stay 4G. Another important requirement for 4G networks is that whatever device that a user may opt for to enter into 4G network has to be provided support. For instance, a smartphone, a tablet, a laptop with this 4G interface, all have to be provided support for 4G network integration. It means the end terminal equipment choice has to be 
as generic and as flexible as possible. The services which are already there, especially in 2G and 3G networks, have to be provided in 4G with as much ease and as much facilitation as they are currently provided with. So the user friendliness is a very important aspect. Although we know handoff or handover is a default feature of the mobile networks, however, taking it to a global scale is a requirement that 4G networks have to incorporate. Although this is slightly well known that it is provided by the GSM architecture through different uh, international collaborations and MOUs between international operators, but 4G actually has to take it to a different level. It has to facilitate it to a higher level. And last but not the least, whatever previous technologies were offering the data rates, the higher data rate is better. In 4G network, 100 megabits per second is a requirement that is specified for a highly mobile user. And for a relatively static or non-mobile user, it can go as high as 1 gigabits per second. Now, any technology or any vendor that promises to provide these features is actually providing 4G technology.